Bamba Clot Panty Japan them When I see you When I see you <coughs> Me put your picture up on me mirror Me start blush when somebody say you need me uh, Get low you see that red dot We ain't for your noggin we don't give a fuck about no leg shots You better start using your head running this Alright, today I'm about to put you on to the most ratchet high schools in CT, bro. I was class of 2020, you feel me? But I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Like, I'm, I ain't gonna talk that much that we just gonna hop straight into it. You feel me? And yes, I know I need to change my smoke detector. Hop off my beef. I will change it. I don't know what they put in y'all milk. I don't know what they been feeding y'all, but y'all been tweaking lately. Like, look at, just look. Like, what's going on? I'm seeing all types of edits, all types of... Like, y'all gotta chill, y'all Y'all got no home training. I thought we was bad, like. Not to mention all the festivities that take place in the sky hall, under the staircase, and. Like, bro, when you mixed, you feel me, one of the gangsters, the Starbucks girls, you know, the actual trench babies and shit, like, that's, that's a bad mix, my nigga. The Weaver Beavers, the home of the viral fight videos, like, you name it. Any type of, you know, fuckery that... Just you name it, bro. You name it. There's probably a fight here every day, if not every week. Like, people even get poked up here. Like, what y'all got going on? What type of animosity floats throughout this building? Like, what is in the air? Please help me find out. <laughs> uh, Dirty Waters, Crosby High School. I hate to be that guy, but the teachers here, they're freaking nasty. The students here, Freak nasty. Like, what is, what is in that water? Like, put me on. Why are y'all like this? Why? What's in there? Like, I can send y'all some of, like, mine. Like, oh, my God. All right, next up, you got Hill House, bro. Now, it's no way I should be knowing about what y'all got going on at the school and we on two separate sides of the state. That's, that's a problem within itself. You feel me? Like, I would not send my child here. The only bright spot y'all probably got is basketball. And, yo, y'all just gross. Didn't y'all have a slap a teacher challenge too? You buried with another comment out. Oh, shaking my damn head. You know what time it is. Part two most ratchet high schools at CT. Let's get it. No cat? I don't know how the hell I forgot will be. My nigga, I really don't. Guns, fights, drugs. More fights, more guns. Like, damn, that shit is a hellhole. Mm. Don't this just look like a nice little high school? A nice little innocent high school or college, don't it? Here we got dudes getting it cooking and then whipping the blicky out. We got security guards laying the smack down on students, which is crazy to me. Like, I don't know why y'all put this shit in Bridgeport. Y'all should have put this shit in Darien or something. Y'all know damn well black people can't have nothing nice. Like, nah, Harden, y'all got it, though. Where that everything? No cap. I was this close to going to Bloomfield High my senior year. But what the hell I look like wearing a uniform? I'm kind of tight, though. I kind of wanted to see dudes get put in trash cans. You know, I kind of wanted to see the riots. Like, damn. But what I did not want to see was people doing, you know, in bathrooms. People doing, you know, in abandoned buses. You know who you are. See him, then y'all let me down. I was trying to give y'all the benefit of the doubt saying y'all was a green flag place. Like, like riots, this. This was recent, too. Like, y'all are red flag now since y'all think this shit Royal Rumble or Hell in a Cell. Like, get your education. Where's your notepad and pencil? Why are you, why? Hmm? Hmm. I had faith in y'all. That's, that's crazy. I clearly didn't have the drop like I thought I did. Last but not least, we got the pub, bruh. I would, I would just let this video speak for itself. Some students admitted to us they started punching and stomping the security guard to get off the student. Yeah, we was trying to protect one of the students. I ain't gonna hold you. I was one of the students that was stomping the security guard out. Our if they attend these schools, in CT, just focus on yourself. <laughs> Desperate manhunt is on for Roach, who is considered armed and dangerous. 
I showed his mugshot to this man. Definitely concerns me a little bit, you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I packed that thing too, so you come around this way, you will get caught. The victim was hit. All right, Bond, school did the colleges, I'm doing the high schools. Let's get it. I ain't one of these in a minute. You probably have an OnlyFans. You definitely got an OnlyFans. If you went here, you either went to the league, went to jail, doing YouTube, or you're mobile every day. It's no in between. You wear pool shiesty masks every day. You probably pursuing a career in street boxing right now. You probably a rapper. If you went here, your rich ass is definitely in real estate right now. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You affiliated with any of these logos in any way? Nine times out of ten, you was probably burning, man. <laughs> nah, where the my mom? I've been getting hella DMs, comments, all that about this. So, nigga, it's that time. If y'all get this bitch jumping, I'm gonna do a part two, cause it's a lot. All right, man. So y'all probably hear this word a lot on my page. Listen, if you're from the 860, you know everybody got a tough time defining off Ian Neffish. But in current days, you could use it to say you just violated somebody or somebody shady type shit. He made art for a lingo bit, but you feel me? I'm just making it statewide on some shit. So y'all go follow him, turn his page up and all that. Now y'all probably heard this too. If anybody calls you any of these words, you are ugly as shit. No cap. Now if you hear somebody say no jazz or jazzing, it has to do with lying. You feel me? Talking out your ass. Now if you heard Neff, then you definitely heard this. Like Jugga said, you could be Neff. You feel me like, I rock with something else. You feel me like, a lot of them be cool as shit. I ain't gonna hold you, but you do not want to be an offie. If somebody calls you an offie, you must really, you might really be a buster. I ain't gonna hold you. You're a skeezer. If you hear somebody use troop, something is far. If somebody says they're trooping it, they're walking dumb far, trooping it. Now we have fighting words. If somebody tells you to get it in, get it cooking, or throw your shits, they want to beat your ass. And disclaimer. If you are from Greenwich or the Booney part of CT, do not come in my comments talking about, oh, I never heard so-and-so. You're the reason why everybody outside of CT thinks CT is ass. <laughs> like, you're not really official. I mean, like, you're not part of the culture, but you can use it wherever you from and make it popping wherever you from you feel me like we, we still from ct you feel me so i ain't even gonna be mad at you but i just had it i be her doing it down now she went around to i told her relax yeah can you find this hell hey yo uh think i can get you Hey, bro, you ain't telling us your means was this funny. Where you from, bro? You look like a New York Nah, bro, I'm from Connecticut. As in CT, bro? Yeah. Nah, say it one more time. I'm from Connecticut, bro. <laughs> nah, this man is from Connecticut. Bro, that gotta be the funniest shit I heard all year. Please tell me you're bro, joking, I thought that bro. shit was fake. That's what real. What even do? <laughs> ain't y'all called nutmeggers? <laughs> Wanna be ass New Yorkers? They have black Nah, you not funny no more. He said they don't get sturdy. They... they Freak it. <laughs> I cop a pack with us from sticky and I lit it, nigga. No some niggas rhyme me, leave you stinking like who shit it, nigga. Fuck for like 10 minutes, then I'm. And my Nike is downtown, dumb and I'll fly as hell. And my Nike is. Baby girl, let me please just take you out. You like me. Bro, what? <laughs> what the hell did Meek Millington do to receive the key to CT? Like, bro, probably ain't stepped foot back in this state since he got that motherfucker. Like, bro, if y'all gonna pass that shit out, get it, give it to somebody who gonna use it. Like, get that motherfucker to me or some shit. Like, damn. I don't even blame him for not popping back out. Ain't shit here. <laughs> see it, you see it. Today I'm popping out some more green flag places. It was coming. I don't know why y'all was in my comments talking about, oh, you always talk about the negative. You always... Shut your ass up. I was getting there. But feel me? Green flag town. Let's get it. There's no way you can convince me that glass number is bad in any way, shape, or form. Feel me? Every person I've spoken to from here has been quite chill. You feel me? Like, polite. I never had a bad experience with glass number. Y'all fuck with y'all. Y'all cool. Green flag. Green flag. For the most part, West Haven, y'all not really bad at all in my book. I ain't gonna cap. 
I feel as if a lot of the gems for the major cities tend to like, you feel me, migrate to the border and towns. Y'all chill though. Y'all can hit the beach with your little bay and shit here in West Haven. Y'all chill. Y'all sturdy. Y'all sturdy. Last but not least, we got Danbury and Bridgeport. And these places are definitely not green flags. Are you dumb? Y'all really thought y'all was about to be green flags? I know you did. I know you thought. Stupid eyes. Get the fuck out of here. Red flags and CT dudes. So if your boyfriend looks like any of these, you might have to pack it up. I ain't gonna lie. But feel me, let's get it. First of all, why are you even with somebody with that that has this type of drip? Like you feel me, like the frat kid. Like we all know, like what they, what type of festivities they take part in. You feel me? Getting drunk, getting nasty at parties every weekend. Like, why would you cut somebody like this? Like I'm confused. Like, pack that shit up. That us. If that man wears a fitty guy that has a big ass forehead, a fucked up hairline, or he's Mister Bitches. Like, especially if it's a World Series hat, that's bad news. Bruh, if it's tilted backwards or to the side, you might as well just get that Summer Walker playlist ready. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if your man has an infant, there's a good chance he was an ex Stoli bandit. He's probably, he might be a scammer. Or he likes to risk his health and always no hezzy through traffic for no reason. I've been exposing the girls for too long. Like, I gotta be fair, you feel me? I hate to brush your bubble, but hey, probably clapping cheeks in them tinted windows as we speak. Pack it up ASAP, you said treat you. probably cheating on you right now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Name a place in CT in three seconds, let's get it. Let's see. Waterbury. New brand. Oh, this don't give me no no Z or nothing, I had extra shit. Uh, I'm gonna be fucked. Uh, oh no, my mind just went blank. Ain't she? The PA? Is that a place? That gotta be a place. Let me let me know if I'm tweaking. Uh damn. Uh uh Ansonia. What high school you went to says about you part two. Let's get it. You either think you're from New York, you went to New York after you graduated, or you went to Stanford UConn after you graduated. You witnessed at least at the least, the absolute least, a hundred fights in your time at this school. It's a good chance you took your times to CCC. You got PTSD from all the nasty people that went to the school. You probably doing or finna do some track or football in some D1 ass college. And you fake bougie. You're in love with snow bunnies. Nine times out of 10, you're a bop, males and females. And you like the idol at Buckland. You're extremely ratchet. What high school you went to when CT says about you part three? Let's get it. You either be minding your business or you have zero home training whatsoever. It's no in between. You're at the minimum height of 6'4". Tall ass football team. You was giving everybody hands for their mouth. You're always sitting in silence like every day, like day by day because it's so boring here. I ain't gonna lie. It's up there with the most boring places in CT. Don't be surprised if you go here and you see some tumbleweeds in the road. It's that bad. One word, Sluddington. It's a good chance you athletic as hell. Congrats on the state title. But you either like it here or you're dying to leave. And you guys also share the same problem with Derby, Wyndham, and Woodstock, and many more places. You guys are dying of boredom. I'm praying for you. Excuse me. Y'all want to try a black only hand sanitizer for me? It's for a video. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, I gotta go. It smell crazy? Y'all gotta go. It smell like ass. Listen, bro. If you want a girl from CT or have a girl from CT and she's from any of these places I'm about to say, pack it up, bro. Do yourself a favor and pack that up. That ass. Pack that up, my nigga. Unless you want your heart broken. Pack that up. Let's go. I ain't gonna lie, I talk a lot of shit about Hartford, but I've had a couple girlfriends from Hartford, bro. They not all bad, but you won't get lucky like me. Like, you feel me? Like, don't do that shit, bro. Unless you really want to get your heart broken or, or burned. Like, you feel me? Like, but hey, it's your life. Listen to me, though. If you ever hear a girl from Hartford say, cake, great, G's, block her. Do not say another word to her ever again, like. If you know, you know. Red flag. Dot central.
Just look at it. That shit just look trenchers. Like, don't do that, bro. Like, I'm begging you. Like, please don't. Don't. You could probably find a diamond in the rough here, but I don't think there's shit in Bridgeport. I ain't gonna lie. Probably the most ghetto place in CT. War is on the news. If she's if she bumps lower heavy, block her. Do yourself a favor. Block her. Flag. This shit is called Dirty Waters for a reason, my nigga. Why would you cuff a girl from Dirty Waters? At that point, you deserve to get your heart broken. Like, you stupid as hell. Why would you do that, my nigga? Stupid ass. Nah, New Haven get busy, bro. Whether it's STDs or, or that K2 shit, like, nah. Nah, pack that up, bro. Pack that up. <laughs> nah. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of like 50-50, but if she's acting bougie, then cut that off. Because she's ran through. The girls here act bougie, but be ran through. Why? I don't know. So, yeah. Red right angry flag. Mm. Oh, funny shit. Middle time bitches aggravate me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, but they freaky as shit, though. But they rude, stuck up and shit. Like, mm. red flag. They friendly as shit, too. I ain't gonna lie, game. Like, if your girl from Manchester, bro, nine times out of ten, she probably did a dick in the in the in the movies or a bathroom in his mall. Like, and they got easy access too. They like five minutes away from that bitch. So, red flag, my nigga, red flag. Pack that shit up. That ass. They got some nice nobodies though, but pack that shit up. Bro, who made this? First of all, Greenwich should be number one because we all know how Greenwich get. Like, what? They be having shootouts every five minutes and they're not on here? And where's Avon, bro? Where? Hmm? People are struggling to feed their families there. There are robberies on a nightly basis and they're not on this list? Blasphemy. And where is Fairfield? You can't even walk the streets in daytime. F forget night. Daytime not even safe in Fairfield. Pray for Fairfield, man. It's getting bad out there. It's worse than Philly and Chicago. Like, it's bad. It's a toss-up between those places for the top spot, but they those are top three. Then we got West Hartford, Groton, Ridgefield, Enfield, Darien. Like, all these places are safe, especially Hartford and Bridgeport. Go there at night. Y'all have a blast. All right, listen, I'm finna explain this little diagram that I drew that way by real quick. I'm explaining it right now. I'm gonna just do it by counties, you feel me? Like, straight like that. But I know a lot of people was confused too. I then forgot to put something else when I was drawing this shit. This this what I meant to put. This one makes more sense. And I really thought about it. I'm about to explain it right now. This is what this video is for. So let's get it. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a buck. This area is dead. Like, this is literally just woods. Like, at this point, this is Rhode Island. I'm sorry. Like, no. <laughs> Not valid. <laughs> I still mess with y'all though, don't get me wrong. It's just where you from. Now we got Tyler County. The only valid place here is Yukon, aka stores. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like, don't nothing go on over here too. Like, mm, nah. I see. Now we're talking now. Now we got Arthur County. You see, this whole area right here is responsible for the culture. No cat freaking it. The lingo, like, it's, you feel me? I think it's the best. Don't say I'm biased, but you feel me? Yeah, like summertime we get active over here, but listen, like once you get towards like these areas type shit, like you feel me, away from Farmington and all them areas, that's that's like where it goes back to the sticks. So them areas iffy, but you feel me? No. Who like, even I mean, lives in London County? It's like uh it's sturdy, but mm, it, it's sturdy, it's sturdy. We got New London, shout out my New London people's mystic. Mystic Aquarium and all that, you feel me? You got the Nino, we got Norwich. But besides that, Garden too, besides that, it's like, nah, it's like, mm, I don't know. It's just, nah. I don't lie, it's whack over here. Oh, yeah, I got his middle town. Hey, Kerry. New Haven County official. Yeah, I got that beach. You feel me? New Haven, West Haven, Hamden, Naugatuck, Waterbury. For sure, for sure. That's that's game right there. Hmm, last but not least, we got we got Fairfield County. And this is kind of like it's a little tricky because a lot of people that live here are really like naff and and so it's like it's it's weird. Like Bridgeport, of course, Danbury, yeah, Greenwich, Stanford. They gave us WWE, so you feel me? Uh, of course, Stratford, mm, yeah. But then like once you get like this is where the because I like. Uh, I can't stand some of them. In Norwalk, y'all made it too, but. Uh.